Hello, and welcome back to Unhelpful Yoda. Today, we're going to be opening two structure decks for the One Piece card game. Uh, I actually already recorded this video. We have all four, uh, but this became really long, so we're doing the opening to make this two videos, but we're going to open the structure decks. Uh, let's get started. And now we're going to open the Seven Warlords of the Sea Structure Deck, or Starter Deck. Um, I'm actually pretty excited for this one because I did like Crocodile, he was pretty cool. Uh, that was a good part of the series. That was so far my favorite part of the series. Um, like I said, I haven't watched, I haven't read that far into the series just yet. I'm only in the early 30s. I just got out of uh, Skypea. Um, that's the last arc I remember reading. So. I'm not like super far or anything, but I really didn't like Skype. It was kind of lame. Uh, it, it seemed a little boring to me, but the crocodile stuff was pretty cool. So pretty excited for this one. This might be the other deck I consider playing. Uh, we're not going to bother with the mat this time because we've seen the mat multiple times. And again, we have the Dawn cards. We have 10 of those. We don't, again, we don't need to keep going over those. Uh, they cap the leader on this one is crocodile and he's a cool character. So, I'm pretty excited for this one. This is the other deck I kind of want to play. Uh, and then as for the character cards, we have two copies of Crocodile himself. We have two copies of Don Quixote del Flamingo. We have four copies of Edward Weevil. We have two copies of Gecko. Two copies of Dracula Mihawk. Two cop or four copies of Jin Janubi. He was in the, uh, the Red Structure Deck, too. Or Red Star Deck, too. We have two copies of Sento Mor Maru. Four copies of Terra Felger... Terra Fagrala. This guy was in the purple... Or in the... In the green Structure Deck, too. That's funny. Uh, Bartholomew Nkuma. We have four copies of that guy. Four copies of Buggy. I like Buggy. Buggy's cool. I'm surprised Buggy didn't get a star, uh, starter deck. Uh, maybe Buggy's not as popular like as the series goes on, and it's just because I'm really early in the series. I like Buggy. Four copies of Pacifista. Four copies of Boa Hancock. And two copies of Marshall D. Teach. Uh, I know a handful of these characters. <laughs> know a handful of these ones. Um... Crocodile's cool, Buggy's cool. I don't know if Buggy's any good. It looked like Buggy was pretty bad, but. And then for the event cards, we have four copies of Sables, four copies of Trust Pad Cannon, Thrust Pad Cannon, and two copies of Love Love Mellow. And that's it for this structure deck, or for this starter deck. And like I said, I, a couple of the characters I do know and I do like. So this is another deck where I kind of want to play it. Uh, Crocodile was so far the best villain I think in the show, or in the book, next to right there with Buggy. Buggy's really cool, but he don't seem to be doing anything. <laughs> uh, hopefully, eventually there's a better Buggy character because I kind of want a, a good Buggy, but we'll see. And lastly, we're going to be opening Animal Kingdom. Pirates. Uh, this is the purple uh, starter deck and the last starter deck currently released. Uh, I believe there are two more starter decks that are announced to be coming out in the future. Uh, I don't think the future is very long. I think it's like January or March or something like that, but I believe there's two more uh, starter decks to come out. But this is all the ones out currently. We use the mat again this time just because we, we didn't use it last time. Uh, Nice pretty mat. Uh, again, we got the 10 Dong cards. And our leader is Kaido for this one. Uh, I do not know who this is. This is a new character for me. Um, I don't believe I've gotten to the Animal Kingdom part of the 
of this series yet. Then we have two copies of Kaido as our first Hollow character card, and two copies of King as our second Hollow character card. King looks pretty cool, not gonna lie. Kinda wanna greet this now. Uh, we got four copies of Ulti. We have two copies of Queen. We have four copies of Sasuke, Sasaki, something like that. We have four copies of Sheep's Head. <laughs> two copies of Jack. Four copies of Gin Rummy. Four or two copies of Who's Who. Four copies of Black Mira. Four copies of Page One. And four copies of X Drake. Next, uh, and that's all for the character cards. Um, I don't really know any of these people, so this is a far less interesting one, in my opinion. Maybe this is a really cool one. Honestly, the artwork looks really good on this one. Of the, the, th of the four, uh, the blue and the red are the ones I know the most about. Uh, the green I knew the least about and was the least interested in, and purple looks really cool. I don't know anything about it, but the characters at least look good. Uh, next up we have four, no, no, two lead performer disaster as an event card. Next we have two Brachio Bonner, Bomber event cards. We have four copies of Blast Breath event card. And then four copies of Onigashima Island as the stage card. Uh, again, this looks really cool. So, as for purple, it looks really cool. I don't know any of these characters or anything about it, but it does look good at least, and honestly, that's usually enough to sell me on a deck, especially if it's good. If the deck is good and the characters look cool, I'll probably play it. So, that's all for the for this deck. Anyway, that's all for the opening. Thanks for watching. We'll be back tomorrow with more nerd news, and we'll probably be back eventually with more One Piece videos. At the very least, we do have a booster box we do have a booster box to open. This will be next week, I believe. Um, I've already opened it, but I didn't have time to edit this video. <laughs> so we'll be back with that on next week. Thanks for watching.